What is going on guys, Slick B here, and today we are in World of Warships, we're going to be playing out the Admiral Hipper. I heard that it's a glass cannon, so I want to try it out. Now we have a cool Halloween camo on it, as you can see. You can buy it right here. It costs 30, 30 doubloons, and you can see the ghostly harbor. <laughs> it's pretty cool, we got floating pumpkin heads and stuff like that. So right now, all these ships aren't unlocked on my press. I don't know why. I could grind up to this, but uh, to grind any further, I'd have to get more free XP or something. So I'll figure something out with that. But yeah, let's hop into battle and I'll see how this ship does. All right, guys. So we are in game in the Hipper. I played one game previously, but uh, it didn't go so hot. I'm not going to show it. Usually I show my bad games, but it wasn't even that kind of bad game. It was just kind of a... Uh, <laughs> you're dead. That's how I would explain it, at least. But anyway, I played a game in the Nure Nuremberg, Nuremberg too, and I died. I got triple citadel by Konigsberg, the tier under it. So that was fun. Triple citadel at tier 5. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like 25,000 health. That was... Oh, it was great. It was fucking... Fucking great! But anyway, this ship is good looking. Very good looking, as you can see. It's got the Bismarck-esque turrets. This is actually... The Hipper wasn't the ship. The Prince... Somebody... Okay, so somebody... It's not Yugen. It's... Yugen? Yugen? Maybe it's Yugen. A Yugen. But, um... That ship and the Bismarck were the ships that sank the hood. So I made that video. It was like, who sank the hood? Somebody was like, Ew, dude, you're a tasteless joke. It wasn't a joke. I was... <laughs> I mean, the hood sank. And we were the type of ships that sank the hood. You know, I was the Bismarck class, Tirpitz, and he was the Admiral Hipper, which was Prince Yugen. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me, dog? Um, but no, it wasn't anything against the Hipper, not the Hipper, the fucking Tirpitz crew. Not the fucking Tirpitz either. Shit, the Hood's crew or anything like that. I understand it was a terrible time. Oh, I have hydrostatic now. Awesome. I forgot to buy uh, or switch it. Hmm. <laughs> we got some ships over here. Some planes, no ships. I can't talk. I don't know what it is, guys. I'm losing my edge. I can't talk at all. Don't know what I'm saying. That's alright. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? The cut, where the wolves at? I feel like I'm gonna find a ship that I don't want to find over here. Let's, uh, let's start to turn out. I, I know I'm going to find a ship I don't want to find. I, <laughs> I don't even have to think. We have any a Sims and a Mutsuki. They're probably over here. Just by my luck. So, we're yeah, we're going to turn out. I just, I, I know. I know, but I just don't. Let's use this shit, just cause. Why not? Maybe I can help our carrier from these guys. Oh, they're not coming towards us. Well, let's flip the turrets around and go in this way. It's dangerous to go out alone, guys. It really is. And I'm fearful. Let's lost my fighter too. Hit it up, AA. Hit it up, AA. Yo, come on, AA. Let's go. You got it. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Almost full squadron dead. Look at my little plane. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's fun. All right. Let's try to cut these guys off up here and give them some hell. Give them some lead. We should concentrate the fleet. I agree. Message me. What's over here? New Mexico, Pensa. So the Pensa is not really that big of a deal. New Me Oh, versus a Musuki and a Cleveland. Oh, we're coming in. It'll be good. We'll help him out. 
How long are the torps on this thing? I don't think they're very long range. No, they look to be like five. Five or six, maybe. That's all right. He's coming into range. One of them, the turbots is coming into range. And then he disappears when I need him visible. Why? There's like a huge plane fight going on over there. My load. Oh, load it, load it. Yes. We're going to start dropping the base. to see like a citadel from me that would be amazing from me to you citadel right, let's focus on these guys they're a lot closer oh they're punched too that's gonna be an issue I hope he gets hit by some torps. That would be nice. But he's not. But he's not. So yeah, I had a uh, flying back. I had a layover in Philly for seven and a half hours. Not a layover, more of a delay. They lost the crew. That, that's what they told us at least. And I got yelled at by the manager of the airport. She was a dickhead. So if you're watching this, manager of Philadelphia Airport. That, that woman, she was wearing a peach shirt that night. Um, she was a dickhead. A huge dickhead. Like, it's not my fault that you lost your fucking crew. And if you don't know what I mean, they literally, like, a plane was supposed to, the crew was supposed to switch and then fly us out, and the crew landed and timed out. They were like, eh, we're going home. And they were like, well, we had no way of tracking that. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you have no way of tracking that? Oh my god, this fucking ship. It's just something about getting Citadel that I love. But yeah, so it's just like, oh, what the fuck? It sucked. So seven hours later, we finally board the flight. And we're going to, you know, Tampa. And what's it called? We, let, we sit on the tarmac for 45 minutes because they don't have the right paperwork to take off. I'm like, what the, what the fuck do you mean? You know, the right paperwork to take off. So everybody at this point basically wants to kill everybody else. It was great. There's a really drunk guy. He got into a fight. Kind of a fight. I like, um... Uh, okay, so I'll tell it to you. I think we have enough time. Hopefully I don't die here, but... Um, we are... I found this group of people and we're like talking and whatever, uh, having a good time. And this drunk guy is really drunk. He's really drunk at this point. He's been chilling at the bar for seven hours, <laughs> you know, like. He um, goes up to the single mom who's sitting with her. Not that she's single, but she's by herself with her little girl. And she's like by the outlet, just sitting on the floor, you know, charging her phone or whatnot. And this guy goes over to them. And he's just being really weird, you know, like talking to the daughter and like giving her fist pounds and shit. And like, he doesn't know them. And then he, he's like, it looks like he's taking pictures, you know, of the daughter. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't really notice it. Didn't really, you know, you know what I mean? But this guy that I was sitting with, uh, his name's Lewis. And he, he's like, ah, that's not right. I'm going to go say something. So he got up and walked over to the guy and he was like, just basically told him that we saw him, you know, like, don't, don't be weird. And, um, that's fine. He comes back over and sits down. We're having another conversation. And the guy comes over, the drunk guy. He walks over and he, like, 
gets in his face, gets in Lewis's face, and he's like, we good, bro? We good? And he's like, super close, and he'll get his ass beat. And judging by the situation, drunk guy will get his ass beat in this situation. So I, I stood up, and I was like, yo, dude, go go back to the fucking bar. Like, come on, man. Like, we, you're not gonna fight in an airport after we've been waiting here for seven hours. And uh, he, he, like, starts to walk away, and he's like, ex Navy SEAL, bro, fucking respect it. And it's like, I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> stop. Please stop. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, god damn. So he's, he's like, ex Navy SEAL, respect it, man. Respect it. And he just goes back to the bar. But, um... Mm. I will continue this story in a new game. Hold on. Battle starts. All right, guys. So we are back. Uh, we're in the Nuremberg, and so this guy, drunk guy, right? He uh, he sits down. This is we're about we're gonna board. We board in probably like an hour after this. Um, so he sits down. And he's like, man, I feel bad for the people who have kids. Like, he's saying this loud, loud. He's like, I would shoot this fucking place up if I had kids here. And I was just like, you don't say that in a fucking airport, you idiot. But he says it, and, like, this mom that's sitting, so the chairs are like this, and she's sitting over here, and he's sitting over here. And uh, she turns her head, and she's like, please watch your language. Like, this is ridiculous. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he's like, taps her, he's like... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she's like, stop talking to me. And he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, though. I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. So that guy happened, right? Finally get on the flight. I don't know what that was. Finally get on the flight. And um, I sit down. And next to me on the window seat is a extremely drunk lady. <sighs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, fuck, I'm not going to be able to sleep on this flight. It's going to be two and a half hours. I'm going to fucking cry. So I sit down and she's like, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing good. And she was like, I'm very slummy right now, but like I'm going to London tomorrow. So I, tomorrow is my time to be fancy. And I'm like, oh, that is, that's great. I like your uplifted spirit. And she was like, even if I lose my luggage, I don't even care because I dress slummy here. And when I get to my house, I'm just going to pack all my new clothes to be fancy. And I'm like, that is amazing. You know, that's something. It's like, I like your spirit. And so she's, she's still going on and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, God. And then the manager and manager assistant, both of them that I don't like, come over. And I'm like, great. Fucking great. How else, how else could this get better? I don't know. And um, they actually kicked her off the plane because she's too intoxicated. So I was like, wow, it did get better. That's awesome. So she got kicked off the plane. I'm getting wrecked right now. No way. No fucking way. Are you kidding me with this luck right now? <laughs> what? I just got focused by Alexis? God fucking damn it. German cruisers, guys. Yay, I got kicked off of, I mean, I, she got kicked off the plane, I knocked out, we ended up home. Fuck. I'm gonna try, um, after this video, to get some solid gameplay for you folks, but, uh, judging by the characteristics of these ships, that's gonna be a difficult thing. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.